It's a common myth that you need a product ID like a UPC barcode in order to create a new listing on Amazon. Now, what you may not know is that if you have your brand registered with Amazon Brand Registry and approved, you can actually go through the GTIN or GTIN exemption process. That way you can save $30 and you don't have to go ahead and purchase a unique external ID or UPC barcode for your product. So today I'm gonna to share with you exactly how to do that. So the first thing, uh, I'm on Amazon Seller Central and I'm on the edit listing or create a listing page here. This is where you type in your item name, your brand name, and then your external product ID. So the first requirement that we need to focus on is having a brand name and getting that approved through Amazon Brand Registry. Now I'm gonna jump over to my brand registry screen here for my test account. Um, and as you can see, I do have a brand here, Vivere Golf, that has been approved and I've already gone through that process. I'll put a link in the description as well as in the cards now on the entire brand registry process and how to get approved through that. And then once you complete that and you gain approval, you can join us back here in this video at this part. So as long as you have your brand approved, we can go ahead and create our listing without a product ID. Now we'll jump back over here to Amazon Seller Central for the listing. Um, and the first time you're doing this, you're gonna type in you know, your title slash product name here. That's where we'll go in this section. And then we'll go to the, down to the brand name. So let's say your brand name is just brand name, for example. The first time that you do this, you're gonna be requested to enter your product ID here. You cannot just go ahead and select, I don't have a product ID because you're gonna get this error message. It's saying that a GTIN exemption is required. Apply now. So that's exactly what you want to do. You wanna select apply now, and then you're gonna be met with uh, two inputs that we have to put in. The first one is the product category. So this exemption is valid for specific categories and brands. If you have multiple products in one category that you're already exempt from, you don't have to go through this process for each one of those individual products. So let's go to product category and we'll do sports and outdoors. So select your product category and then go over to brand. So this is where you're going to type in your brand name that's already been approved through Amazon brand registry. For me, that test one was Viva Ray Golf. And I'm gonna put some other ones in here just to show you some other examples of what will be approved and what won't be. So I can type in generic. That one is always gonna be exempt from the product ID process. But let's just type one that's similar, Vibre. And then we'll type in one like Nike. Okay, so once you have your brand name in there that you want to be exempt for, click check for eligibility at the bottom. And once you select that, you should see a screen that probably doesn't look exactly like mine here because I've requested to uh, be exempt for some brands that I actually don't have approval for. So for you, you probably just see this approved brand section and it says, you have been approved to list products in the below brand and category. So I was approved for my Vivere golf brand that I've already been approved through Amazon brand registry. And then I was also approved to sell generically. So for you, all you need to do is click add a product and then you can go ahead through that process. Uh, before I show you how to do that, I just want to say this eligibility summary uh, for the ones that I was not exempt for. Nike, I don't have approval to do that. And then Vivere, saying the same thing. You may not create new ASINs for this specific brand. So you have to make sure that you're approved through Amazon brand registry. I must say that a bunch. So we can go back here and you can click add a product for your brand name. It'll be met with this screen here. This should be pretty familiar. You know, this is the same way of how you add products normally. Go to your catalog and add products. So we'll go down here, we'll click, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. And then what I always say to do is it's just easiest to type in your product and then click select, typically the first or second one. And this is gonna take us to the edit screen. So now type in your title and then for brand name, you should be able to select it. If not, type it in exactly as it is on your trademark and through Amazon brand registry. And then when you go down here now, you can select, I don't have a product ID. You'll see that little red message pop up for a brief millisecond and then it will go away. So at this point, we've successfully applied for the GTIN exemption and we've been approved for that exemption in this category and for this brand. So we don't have to go ahead. We don't have to purchase the UPC barcode. And you just saved yourself $30 because you went through that entire process. Now you can click continue. You can fill out the rest of your listing details. And uh, at that point, you can click save and finish and you'll have your listing uploaded and approved.